Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Last night, Diana made a wonderful pile of avocado fries for a recipe video she's doing. They were good. Oh, they're fake, too. They're fake? No, baked. Oh, baked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. Hang on, I gotta get it connected to my uh, special computer here. Are you nervous? You seem a little nervous. I am very nervous. I'm going to be uh, serenading you here with the song that I just wrote up in my workshop a few minutes ago. This song represents the duality of man as he finds himself juxtaposed with the socioeconomic factors of whatever might be plaguing him on any given weekday when juxtaposed against the silhouette of a postmodern society this is how the man evolves in given choices realizing that he could either be bioluminescent oh, this is deep. or potentially even find himself walking down the path of economic destruction oh so it's kind of like He's like on the borderline and doesn't know which way to go. I wasn't finished. Oh, sorry. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> This is what I get to review in CPU today. Today's question comes in by way of Alan Austin. Which Christmas tradition can you not wait to pass on to not only Jedi, but the others who follow you? I've got a lot of Christmas traditions to go through. Not just mine, but Diana's. And now we're creating new Christmas traditions. But the one tradition that I love the most, and I don't know if this is really a tradition. It's a normal tradition, but I mean, for me, it's a very, very important tradition. Packing that stocking full of awesomeness. Because you see, filling a stocking full of fun and functional stuff is fulfilling for me. I believe it should be a grab bag filled with goodies. Yes, I understand that the stocking is a general Christmas tradition. However, it's what you do with the stocking that matters. Everybody does it differently, and I do it a certain way. And the way I do it, I think is awesome. I can tell you that Diana's never disagreed. You just haven't had a stocking until you've had a Chris Perillo packed stocking. And in order to get one of those, I gotta get to know you really well. A few years ago, you might remember me starting a new tradition in turning my car into Rudolph. And I'm flying through the streets, but not too fast, especially with the speed trap back there. I really do get a kick out of bringing joy to others on a regular basis, even if I'm driving by a kid or adult who points at the car and laughs. I'm off to pick up a goodie that's not really a goodie. It's some kind of prescription for Jedi. Eh, I shouldn't have put on the Santa cap immediately after exiting the shower. I remember when I was a kid, my brothers and I couldn't wait to go downstairs to see what Santa had brought us, and of course we just could not wait until daybreak. So we piled into mom and dad's bed and begged and pleaded to go downstairs to see what was going on down there because we knew there'd be stuff awaiting us and there inevitably was. It was always a Merry Christmas and I'm very grateful for that, but we would make it a tradition where we could only go downstairs after a car drove by us with antlers somehow, and I don't know when it began, we could only go downstairs after we piled into the bed with mom and dad. So our entire family was trying to wake up our entire family roughly around the same time before daybreak, probably like two, three, four, seven in the morning. I can't even remember. There was also something that my dad did. He took each one of us out individually on a different night and we were able to buy gifts for one another. Like I would buy presents for my brothers, Ben and Adam, and Ben would buy presents for Adam and I, and or, I mean, Adam and me, sorry about that. We didn't really have our own money to spend, so we were given an allowance of like $10 or something like that to spend on each brother and pick a gift that we thought they would absolutely love. And for the most part, I would say that I loved every gift that my brother gave me. We always seemed to love the gifts that we got for each other. Of course, this was long before the internet existed, so part of the experience was being able to spend time with Dad, driving around town, trying to hit every store that possibly had toys, and having fun. 
For Jedi, we're probably going to borrow from old traditions and create new traditions as well. If it's something that bears repeating, we'll repeat it. Including the word fun, which I feel I've been saying a lot today. Did I offend you in some way? Is there a reason why you have not wanted to talk to me today? No, it's just that I've been a bit busy running errands. Driving errands. One of those errands is to get coffee, which I gotta do right now. Otherwise, tomorrow is not going to begin with a bang, but a whimper. I will not go gently into that good weekend. This year, I'm not going to be showering Diana with all sorts of gifts, just a select few. It's still going to be fun, and I hope that Diana thinks it's still fun, even though it's going to be different. But we have Jedi in our lives, so we have to do Christmas differently. But as Diana's been prone to say herself, it's not about quantity, it's about quality. Oh, is this why you only have one of me in the car instead of ten of me? Uh, yeah. I'm very grateful I've been earning free gift cards by way of go.tagjag.com slash free points and go.tagjag.com slash free apps. I've been talking about those services for the past few years, but honestly, they make the holiday season a lot more bearable because I'm able to exchange the points for gift cards and then I'm able to cover Christmas. I'm not going to call me mentioning those links a gift. However, it's kind of like the gift that keeps on giving. If you're not using those services now, what are you waiting for? Chris is so sweet. He got me a latte and I didn't even ask for it. This mommy needs her caffeine. And I'm also excited to try these two things. Some nail scissors, which are really cute. These had great reviews. And a nail filer, which is very gentle. Because every time I do Jedi's nails, I get so nervous. And people recommended that these two things together would be great. And they said there was a lot less accidents, which I'm terrified of. So far, we haven't had any, knock on wood. This pink pad is the smoothest. And it comes with three other pads, which is really nice. I believe the orange one is the roughest. So I'll be able to change them as she gets older. I can melt daddy's heart because you're a ray of sunshine. Charlie Brown has a shirt like this. The blemish on my face wants to heal. It's healing just fine. The problem is, when it heals throughout the day, and then I wake up the next day and take a shower, then the skin that has grown over the blemish is so thin in the water, it gets all gooey, and then unfortunately kind of falls away. So it's not getting a chance to heal. Ew! So the only solution I can think of is not showering. This is the most beautiful dinner I've seen tonight. Wait, you're missing your piece of focaccia bread. Now the dinner is complete. <laughs> I like the first one that I had, but unfortunately my mouth's still on fire because Wait, of it. This one's better. Eat that one. That's a good piece. You don't want this piece. I'll eat this piece for you. Why'd you give me a piece with more peppers? I don't know why blowing on it's going to help, because it's not going to help. It's pepper. That's the kind of hot, spicy pepper that makes your nose run and opens up the sluices on both ends. And it burns because it's hot temperature-wise, too. <laughs> Wonderful texture. That's about all I can detect. <laughs> Hey, Terrell! Diana tells me that you tweeted her to let her know that the postcard was coming. It's here! Merry Christmas! Like it just fell off the couch. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. No one saw me.
No one vlogged it. I'm good. What Christmas traditions do you want to pass on to Jedi? Opening gifts at midnight, because that was so much fun when I was a kid. But not all gifts? No, well, gifts from us. Santa will come in the morning. I remember standing by the clock and waiting until midnight struck, just so we can open presents. And it was fun because you got to stay up as a kid. Normally, they wouldn't let you stay up. Jedi doesn't care about the time, does she? <laughs> When the baby's up, the baby's up. And when the baby wants to sleep, the baby sleeps. We're on the Jedi schedule. It's Jedi time. Isn't one of your traditions putting a lottery ticket in your stocking? Mm-hmm. I upheld that tradition last year. You did not. I didn't get a lottery ticket in my stocking, but oh, oh Diana did. <laughs> oh, did she? Mm -hmm. What am I going to put in Jedi stocking? Formula? Diapers. Thanks again for taking the time to like this video and for interacting with us every day. We'll see you tomorrow!